Aloha everyone and a warm welcome to another weekly update of Vacation Rentals here on Oahu. Uh, my name is Brian, the broker in charge of Halepuna Real Estate and also a partner of Island Stays Hawaii, which is a premier vacation rental management company for vacation rentals. And pretty busy week for this past week. We had 11 new listings ranging from 159,000 up to a uh, one bedroom, almost 1.5 million. And then we had 13, excuse me, 12 sold transactions, eight were cash and four were financing. And since this is the start of a new month, I just wanna point out that for all these units I cover, if you go to the description of this video, I will have links to Airbnb units, a quality unit in each of these buildings so you can kind of get an idea what nightly rates go for and kind of check around, check occupancy. So let's get started with this unit over at Ala Moana Hotel. And if you're new to this series, I'm not gonna go in this building detail because all the units have to be standardized hotel furnishings. They can't be custom at all. The only real difference is whether the studios have two beds or one bed. And this is a unit on the seventh floor, price of 159, 297 square feet. This is to me a pretty good price. I would get this, I guess it's going to escrow, escrow pretty quickly. Pretty expensive dues though right here, but this is what all covers electricity, AC is included. Another one, Alamon Hotel, this is on the fourth floor. This is a single bed studio, 165,000. And the next, uh, another studio on the 34th floor, price of 260,000 city views. Obviously the two bed option. Moving on to Aloha Surf. This is a studio, 316 square feet on the sixth floor, price of 345,000. If you're not familiar with this property, it's kind of a boutique building just off the Alawai. No parking with the unit. This one has city views, monthly dues right here, and then what it covers. I had a client recently buy in here. Unfortunately, these pictures are, are not quality. Popcorn ceiling, and this building does have asbestos, so if you do remove, you have to, it's best to hire someone who's certified to do that. But from these pictures, I've not been this unit, but this seems like a pretty good price based on the comps. Here's that student island calling on the 10th floor, 316 square feet, 365,000. I'm not gonna cover this one because this actually just won the market last week. For some reason they canceled and they just brought it, brought it back on. So if you're interested, just uh, check on my YouTube update for uh, last week. Another one, Island Colony. This is a pretty nice unit on the 14th floor, 302 square feet, price at 375. They just dropped the price. It's been on the market for about four months now, but nicely done. I'm actually really surprised this is not sold. I've been in here, I had a client who was interested in uh, maybe making an offer. This is what I'm talking about, quality pictures. And actually the pictures make the, look, the unit look a little better than it actually is. But congrats to the, the listing agent for doing a good job representing the unit with quality pictures. I kind of like this, but I got some feedback from other people that they weren't really a, a fan of that wallpaper. But nice chinette, open shelving. And then they had also had a nice bath as well. I, I would guess that this price is probably gonna go into escrow relatively soon. And just to uh, point out Island Colony, if you do wanna do nightly rentals, you have to sign a, a license agreement with the hotel and also pay a monthly desk fee because guests have to check in at the front desk before they can go to the unit. And that adds, I'm told, about seven to nine percent to your operating expenses. I do have a, a colleague of mine who owns some units in this building, and rather than go through the whole ordeal of licensing the unit, she rents them out to um, foreign students and nurses, generally on a thirty to ninety day basis. And she makes, she thinks, pretty much the same amount of income as if for people who do nightly rentals. Just an FYI. Palms at Waikiki on the eighth floor, 285 square feet, price of 399,000. City, some ocean views, Diamond Head, $661 your monthly fee, and this is what it covers here. Nice drone shot here, showing that here's Duke's Lagoon right over here. This, you can customize units in this building, but this is hotel furnishings. And I've seen some really nice customized units um, at Palms at Waikiki. My opinion though, they're asking a premium. You got this pier here, so you're gonna lose really much use of your lanai. 
and just being hotel furnishings, I think it's a little high on the price point. Ritz Carlton, studio on the 11th floor, 511 square feet, price of 575. Uh, if you're new to this series, I don't go into detail with properties at the Ritz or Kalahi Hotel, which is formerly the Trump, because they just really don't make a lot of, uh, they're not too attractive investments for people who are looking for cash flow. We didn't see on Beachwalk, there's two, two new one bedrooms on the market this week. This is the first one on the sixth floor, priced at 615,000, 494 square feet, really spacious lanai though. Here's your fees here and what it covers. And beach walks located right here. Easy access to the beach. Really a ton of great restaurants all around this area. And even at the base of this ho hotel, there's two nice restaurants. Now this is kind of pushing it. The highest selling one bedroom at Regents at Beach Walk, I think is 620,000. And I think that was on the eighth floor if I remember correctly. But recently there's been three units that have sold below 500,000. So I just don't think they're gonna get this price. Good view here though. And this is a pretty quiet street. I'm a really big fan of this building. It's very basic though. So here's one restaurant right here, then another one over here. This is a uh, super popular. I've been there before and I enjoyed it. But again, a very basic building, no swimming pool. There's just uh, laundry rooms and that's about it. No, no parking, but there is some pretty affordable parking that can be rented in the area. Again, nice job on the pictures. I like how they had those floor plans. And I do like do like these units. There's a, a two bedroom currently on the market for 870. I'm I'm amazed it has not. It's been on the market for probably over a month now. It quickly went to escrow, then fell out, and I'm amazed that no one else has picked it up. I thought I'd have a client who would do it, but no one's jumped on it yet. So if you're interested in that one, uh, they can cash flow quite well. But these are nice. Here's the next one on the fifth floor, price is 620,000. Obviously this one's been custom remodeled and furnished. I would personally go for this one. But this is original, I would, I would prefer to have this upgraded as well. Some of these cabinets can be, can start looking a little rough. So last new listing is this really quality uh, one bed, two bath over at Kulima Estates East on the North Shore. 840 square feet, asking 1.485. If you're not familiar with this area, it's right over here. You have Turtle Bay Resort. So some really quality golf courses up there. Nice beach um, close by. A very quality unit. Did a super job here in my opinion. And I really like this uh, staircase here. Usually, you have the staircase that just comes down this way along the wall and it takes up quite a bit of space. So having this here really opens up this area, which I really like. The kitchen on the island. So it's a one bed, two bath, but you got this loft area up here, which most people usually do, which this unit has done is they put a bed up here. And they have a bathroom right up here. Then the other bedroom is just down this hallway by the front door. So this is the loft, really nice. You have split AC, split AC here. Barn door with the uh, bathroom, which is really nicely done. Nice views. Here's the other bedroom. Yeah, I think this is very, very nice. Obviously got some tennis courts. So here's Turtle Bay. This is um, Ocean Villas at Turtle Bay. Really, these can be um, operated as nightly rentals. Very expensive though, from the three to uh, over five million price points. But a nice beach over here, a restaurant called the Beach House. Golf course here, here's the clubhouse here. There's a nice little um, kind of bar lounge restaurant here. Some horseback riding over here to the left. Good surfing here in the winter time. So really just prime location, very quiet area to live. Here's your common areas right here, the swimming pool. And again, another agent who did some really quality pictures. Upright washer and dryer. And here's your upstairs bathroom. 
and the downstairs bathroom and the bedroom again. Really, really, really nice. I think it has a good chance. It's a little high in my opinion, but I think someone's probably gonna pick it up just based on the condition. Moving on to Seoul, the Alamoana Hotel, six days on the market, 168,000. Palms at Waikiki on the third floor, priced at 303,000. Malahi Studio on the 13th floor, 368,000. Island Colony on the 31st floor. This is a nice unit here, six days on the market, so for 375. The one on Waikiki, six floor studio, 420,000, 81 days on the market. Island Colony, this is a really neat one bed, one bath on the 24th floor. Had a Mickey, kind of Disney, Mickey Mouse theme. 11 days, 525, that's a pretty good price for a, a one bedroom over Island Colony, but this is a really quality unit. Marine Surf, this is a, quite a steep price here on the 20th floor, 392 square feet. Does come with parking, 13 days on the market though, 598. Pretty impressive there. I have some clients to own in there that I'll be happy to see that price point. Waikiki Sunset, it's a one bed, one bath on the 10th floor. It does come with parking, seven days on the market, 650. Waikiki Banyan on the 10th floor, 533 square feet, one bed, one bath. That also comes with parking, seven days on the market, sold for 693,000. So you can see things are still a seller's market here. It's softening somewhat, but things, if it's priced right and in a decent building, they're moving quickly still. Ilikai on the 23rd floor, one bed, one bath. Uh, this is one of those floors that has the restrictions if you do nightly rentals and don't use a hotel pool. 810,000. Waikiki Banyan on the 29th floor, one bed, one bath with parking. This is me a pretty good price point, 820,000, three days on the market. Unit needs to be remodeled, but uh, hard to find those views in that stack at Banyan. And last new listing on the 15th floor. So one bed, one bath, great stack, you know, stellar views, 16 days on the market, so for almost 849,000. Thank you all for watching and supporting my channel. If you have any questions on Hawaii real estate at all, I'm here to serve you. Um, and if you wanna learn about vacation rental management as well, I'm happy to chat with you. So contact me anytime. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the content, uh, I'd appreciate a subscribe or a thumbs up. And until next week, you take care.